So if you're using a Windows machine, let's see how you can install the development environment in a computer using Windows 10. So here you can see this is the JIT website, jit-cscm.com. Here on the right, we have these downloads for Windows. So you can click here and this will take you to the downloads page. And here this is going to download the correct version for your operating system. And also we have Node.js. Here on the left we have the, the stable version. And you can click here and this will download Node.js for Windows. If I open uh, the... The Windows File Manager, I can open the JIT installer, so you can click here. And now you can click here on Run. And let's click here on Yes to install JIT. Next, I'm going to click here on Next, Next. And here I want to add the JIT icon into the desktop. And click here on Next. Next, and from here I want to to check the the second option, Ujjit, from the Windows command prompt. Click here on Next, and this is fine. I'm gonna click here on Next, and finally, I'm gonna select the second one here, Next, and everything is fine. Next, and click here on install and this will install JIT in our computer so let's wait until this finish installing so you can for example uncheck this and click here on finish and I'm gonna open the CMD so here on Cortana let's add CMD and open command prompt the Windows command prompt here you can add JIT and as you can see we have a bunch of different commands that you can apply that means that JIT is successfully installed in our computer. So let's open again the file manager and open the node application. And let's click here on run. And next, let's accept the terms. Next and next. And you have to make sure that this add to path is select. This will be really, really important. Click here on next and install everything i'm gonna click here on yes to install node.js in our computer and now you can see it says node.js has been successfully installed you can click here on finish and again open the windows command prompt cmd and open this and now you can add node b and now you can see the version of node and also you can add npm b and now you have npm install we need to install gulp and i'm gonna add npm install then i'm going to add dash g that means globally and we add gulp and this will install gulp in our computer so let's wait until this finish and this will be the last step in the development environment for this video. And now you can see that Gulp is installed. You will have, uh, or you have to check that the list of dependencies looks like this one. And at the top, you can see we have these worms. They are not important, so you don't have to worry and with this we're ready to start working in the next chapter with our web workflow